Greetings my fellow lovers of tunes and welcome back to another Zutameo reaction video here on the channel where we enjoy the music of course. Now we are still busy with the 12 part requests from Ryan Hansen and I'm very excited. Today's video is another Zutameo one as I mentioned and it's called Segi. I think that's what you call it. Now as far as I can see from the thumbnail this is going to be like another live performance sort of video so we get to see more of the instruments and everything like that. Although I do love the music videos. It's so much fun to see their depiction of the story that they're telling in this as well. But I'm very excited to see what this one is all about. See the performance. See what we can spot. All the different instruments that they have. All of these different things that they have and also continue our journey and discovering of who this group is and the lead singer and discover what they're all about so without any further ado let's get into, get into it and then we will discuss it afterwards as always
You know, <laughs> if you've seen the video before this one, where we did Hanaichi, Hanaichi, let me just make sure, Hanaichi Monme, if that's even the way that you pronounce it, you would understand why I'm laughing and smiling so much. Because in that video, I still said that I am smiling because I can only imagine what these people must be doing on stage with a song like this, like the different instruments and the way that they're producing these sounds. And there we have it. We have this song and it's incredible it's very fun it's so upbeat and you just i like i said before you just cannot sit still to this type of music but what makes it so much more entertaining especially with these live videos is that you get to see all the craziness that's going on i mean we get to like it starts off with all of these guys wearing these huge tina turner looking wigs um they all look like they're about to blow your mind with what they're about to do the song starts and it's phenomenal and then you get the sound that sort of sounds like a violin cello sort of thing and then you come to realize it's them using an umbrella attached to what i think is a like audio recorder those old school audio recorder type vibes and using that sort of like a dj spin setup which is absolutely mind-blowing if you think about it, there's two of them, like the one has a opened and the other one has a closed umbrella and it works. It just works. I don't know why and I, I cannot tell you what exactly makes it work, but it just works. And then you have the guy playing drums on CRTV, CRT TVs, those old school box televisions. I mean, how much more entertaining can you get? If if you don't don't necessarily enjoy the music, you will definitely have a good laugh and, ch and chuckle and on their performances and seeing how upbeat and how energetic they are with their performances. But it's incredible! What an amazing show! I I'm just I I constantly glance at the audience and just looked at them and they they looked like they were having a blast like each and every person was standing on their feet like dancing along like jumping along the rhythm of this song absolutely phenomenal now the for the song itself i need to go and look up the lyrics but what i gathered from this what it felt like it, it felt like a sort of interaction between the person who is singing this obviously and someone else and i i cannot like put my finger on it if it's in a good or bad way but it felt like an interaction like the you were trying to get their attention you're trying to speak to them and that sort of vibe i i might be wrong on that but that's what i got from this but i'll admit i i was much more distracted but all of the little antics in the background the way that they make these sounds and the way that they just enjoy themselves in the moment but i'll definitely go and look it up but that's what i got to feel of in this particular song but oh my goodness, these guys, their, their live performances are definitely something you would want to see like for yourself live. There's just so much going on. The, and I keep on thinking to myself, how did they come up with these things? How did they sit there one day and think, you know, we're going to use an umbrella attached to this, attached to that to make this sound and it's going to work with our songs. Like that is some next level thinking and ideas and that's why i love them they are so unique with what they do and it just works with their style of music it, it's how i was introduced to them and it's how i've come to know and love them for what they are it's this this goofiness this out of this world strangeness but also the relatability of life and everything that the songs are about you know it's it, it's sort of a like a distraction from reality uh when you listen to them and you really see what they're all about it's absolutely phenomenal i i love the i love that performance so much my my jaw was actually getting sore like from just trying not to burst out in laughter the whole time that was incredible so thank you again very much to ryan hansen for this incredible um this incredible request as well i i cannot believe that the first one we did was a normal music video and i still said that the live shows are so fun and then we get to see this that that's just poetic justice right there so thank you very much for this request i really do appreciate it very very much i would love to know from you guys what are your thoughts on this what do you think about this group like we've seen them now quite a few times before and i really would like to know if you guys also focus on like all these little different things that they do all these way out the ideas that they have and is that the reason why 
you keep on coming back to them because I think that's definitely one of the reasons why I go back to them. Uh, but in any case, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. Remember to check up on one another and then I will see you in the next video, which will probably be your Ashika videos uh, out of our big request bomb that Sarai left us. So I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, remember, music is medicine.